Hey guys, how would you like to check out my new CRKT hijinx? It's actually designed by a guy, I don't maybe you've heard of him, uh, Ken Onion Onion. I'm kidding. This is a uh, manual action liner lock. And the steel that they went with for this blade is 1.4116. Yes, that's the name of the steel, 1.4116. I know at least I was not familiar with it until I purchased this knife. Now, this steel is actually considered uh, stainless steel. And, I, and some of you guys may or may not know that you know in order for steel to be considered stainless it has to have a chromium content of at least 13 percent the chromium content of this hijinx is actually between 14 and 15 percent so making it uh stainless now this blade is sitting on ikbs uh, ball bearing system and if you notice here at the pivot it's a number eight torx and it's only just on the one side but it's got a nice decorative pivot now the finish is uh it's, it's got a satin finish uh plain edge that's actually flat ground with a drop point style if you guys can see that There is a decent sized sharpening choil. So to make uh, use of the entire cutting edge, makes it a little easy to sharpen once it becomes time to, you know, touch it up. And you might notice that there is actually no jimping whatsoever on the blade itself. Now there is a little bit on the flipper. Which is good. Now, and the detent is really just about the best detent I've ever experienced because it lets you like you kind of build up that force and then when it finally gives, bam flies open so it's got a very nice detent now you're not going to be able to see the stop pin on this guy because it is an internal one and when it locks up at least on my example here do you see that it's at about 50 percent the length of this blade it, it measures at about three and a quarter inches long with a cutting edge of three and a half inches. The spine thickness is 0.113 inches or roughly 2.87 millimeters. Now the blade width, I measured at 1.29 inches or 32 millimeters. The scales are in fact made out of GFN, so that glass reinforced nylon. It's kind of got that plasticky feel and sound. The liners in here are actually nested. So they're kind of hard to see. And they opted not to mill them out for some reason. The centering on this guy that's pretty good. Yeah, that's just about perfect, actually. Now, on the back of the handle, you can see it is, for the most part, closed construction with a really nice deep carry pocket clip. Uh, tip up only, but it can be for righties or lefties. And if you notice here, 
You see that little cutout? That's actually a removable plate. So you take that off and then it exposes that the, the, the cutout for the pocket clip and the screws. So it makes it kind of inset here into the scale, which is, you don't really see too often on uh, knives in this price range. So very, very nice touch. Uh, let's see, there is a little bit of jimping here on the backspacer. Also, up here towards the pivot. And again, of course, on the flipper and a little bit of jimping here on that uh, lock portion of the liner. Thickness of the spine is 0.477 inches or about 12 millimeters. Now closed, this knife measures in at four and three quarters inches long with a overall width of 1.47 inches or about 37 millimeters. Now when this knife is opened, this measures overall to eight inches. And the weight, which I would like to show you guys, you guys see that? Well, it looks like about five ounces which is the equivalent of, it looks like six double A batteries. Now this knife has a street price of around 50 bucks, which is, <coughs> excuse me, which I think, I, you know what, maybe a tad on the high side, I would feel really good about this knife at like 40, maybe even at the most 45. I don't know, but 50 just seems a tad high. I mean, you're not really getting premium materials, you know, and it's three and a quarter inch blade so yeah, I'd feel really good at about 40 bucks. And now I, oh, this knife actually, well, the version that this knife is styled after actually won Blade Show Knife of the Year in 2014. Now the version that this is based on is a little bit different. It has titanium scales, a little bit longer of a blade. Ooh, it's a little heavier too at about 6.4 ounces. $400. I know, right? There were only about 525 of them ever produced, so it was a limited run on that uh, titanium scale version. So probably you'd have a pretty good, maybe a better chance of finding on a secondary market seeing that it's no longer produced. Now, a couple of the features on this that I wish that this knife actually had, I would have liked to have seen some thumb studs. I really like when you have more than one option for blade deployment. And then with the thumb studs, it would also give you, you could enable a like slower, a little more controlled deployment. 
and there was really a missed opportunity here on the uh, liners. It's gonna be a little tough for you guys to see, but they are not milled out whatsoever. So yeah, sort of a missed opportunity. I mean, that could have reduced the weight just a little bit had they removed a little material from the liner, but. Now, did you see the scales are kind of like concave? which is nice because it, it really helps to provide a good grip. If you can see that. There's a few things now that I'm not crazy about. The handle for one. I really don't care for, I mean, I know it's glass reinforced nylon, but you know what, it's just fancy plastic. And it, it, it really does feel like it. Sounds like it. And the flipper, in my opinion, is a little bit on the large side. I would have liked to have seen that made just, just a little bit smaller. Definitely, you know, those things are not deal breakers, but you know, the perfect knife does not exist, so all knives have their pros and cons. I mean, all of them. And this one is no exception. Let me bring out a couple other examples of Mr. Onion's work. So you can see the similarities in the uh, design, especially with these two the CRKT Shenanigan and CRKT Foresight. And then, you know what, let's also just go ahead and bring in, this is a Kershaw Cyclone. And one more of his, the Kershaw Blur. So, very, very similar in his design style. get those out of the way so I would you know what I would I would recommend this knife I know I said the price is a tad steep but we're only talking about you know five or ten dollars too much in my opinion um, I really like the IKBS system I'm a big fan of wider blades and this one definitely fits that profile so yes i would totally recommend this knife so if you guys have any questions comments please by all means comment like subscribe i do read all of the comments and respond to them all so thanks again, you guys, for uh, stopping by and coming out to play. I'll talk to you guys later.